Hi and welcome to The Bachelor Day where I show you how to make fast, simple homemade meals you can make in advance, put in your freezer and use whenever you want. And today we are making banana and Biscoff muffins. I mean, these are delicious. You can give them to the kids as a sort of um, breakfast. They don't have a great deal of um, Biscoff in them or you can have them as an after school treat or if friends come around, you can have them for that. And the thing is with baking is when you bake, you then have to eat it all and there's sometimes tons of it and the kids get fed up halfway through and then you end up putting the rest in the bin or your hips just do not like it. So the great thing about these recipes is you can bag them up, get them in the freezer. When people come round or the kids after school, you can just pull out as many as you want. Fantastic for a cheap lunchbox treat as well. So um, yeah, brilliant out of the freezer. So let's get going. Okay, banana and Biscoff muffins. What you are going to need is 100 grams of butter or margarine, 150 grams of caster sugar, three eggs, one um, teaspoon of vanilla essence, 150 grams of, um, what do you call it? Flour, nearly forgot there. And um, two ripe bananas and a eighth of a cup of Biscoff. Okay, you'll get all the recipe on my website. So if you want it in cups or you want it in grams, you will get the whole lot on my recipe website. It's free, you can just print it off, okay? Okay, so to start off, you want to make sure that your oven is set to 180 degrees for baking these. You want to get yourself um, a tray with um, for muffins and add your little cupcake muffin liners in. Then set that aside, because you don't need it yet, and grab your big bowl. In your bowl, you want to add um, 100 grams of um, your butter. Now, for anybody that didn't know, most packs of butter come with a little, um, a little measuring thing, and it shows you how much is on them, so you don't need to measure it out. You can just look at that. Just make sure it's flat against the butter, and you can pretty much see where 100 grams are. Now, I just like to give it a cut up when it's in the bowl. It just helps your mixer sort of start working. Move your butter to the side and then you're adding your sugar, okay? And I know that for my sugar, I'm 150 grams or I'm three quarter cups. So I, that's why I love doing it in cups. It's so much easier than getting out some weighing scales. Okay, just blend that until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so next you just want to add your three eggs in. And your vanilla essence, so your one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And then give them a good combine. Okay, once it's combined, you're then taking your flour and you're adding it to the mixture as well. I like to use a sieve with this one, okay? It really helps the mixture. And then just sieve in your flour gently, just to get any of those lumps out. Okay, once it's folded in, I'm just going to add in my eighth of a cup of Biscoff. Delicious, if you've never tried Biscoff, give it a go. My kids adore it, so do I. So add it in and I'm just gonna give this a very quick mix. Already that smell of Biscoff is just amazing and it's sort of colored the mixture, just that lovely brown color. Oh. Delicious. Okay, just make sure it's all off the bottom of the bowl and then grab a spare bowl and you're just going to mash two bananas. Two bananas are now going into the mixture. So mash them in a separate bowl first. Okay, so once you've finished mashing your, your bananas, just bring them over, combine them into the main bowl and then just give it a mix around. You don't want to overwork this batter. So you just want to slowly mix it in. And we're just going to divide these up between 12, okay? So you want to make sure that you get 12 out of them. I've changed to an ice cream scoop because I think it works much better. It's just faster. You get the same portion in every one. Okay, and that's how simple that is. These are going in the oven for 15 minutes, 180, and we'll see what they're like when they come out. They also already smell amazing. Let's put them in. And there we go, guys. That is them out of the oven. Now mine have came out perfectly. I mean, that's exactly how you want them to look. They smell amazing. And um, I actually, because mine is an agar, I took about 18 minutes for mine. So if you open the door and within 15 minutes and you still feel like they're quite light, 
give them an extra two or three minutes and see how they turn out. But these are so easy. I'm going to bag half of these up. They're going to do for the school pack lunches for the next couple of days. And then half of them I'm going to put in the freezer and the kids can have them in a few weeks time um, once they've had a break from them. I hope you enjoy doing these freezeable banana and Biscoff muffins. Take care. Bye-bye.